Welcome to MDesign Studio. Thank you for joining back for another video and in today's video we'll be reviewing the mastering plugin by Lender. Now you probably heard about Lender Mastering since they offer their mastering services online and you can basically upload your track and master it online. However, they came up with an amazing idea and they created their own unique plugin named Lender Mastering Plugin. So in this video we'll be reviewing what this plugin can do to our mix. Before we actually take a deeper look into Lander's Mastering plugin, let's hear the mix we'll be working on. I'm rising like the gas price. More abundantly, the only way I like to have life. But in Jesus' love, I cannot go back to my last vice. But I still give demons smoke, cause it's a fast life. Flashlight when I grip them. This track is by my good friend and my long-term client, Mike Melages, and this is his song, Count It All Joy. Now let's dive in into Lander Mastering plugin and see what that plugin can do to this mix. So we have a few things going on right here. First of all, we have an input gain which we can adjust individually. We have some analyzers right here, which shows how your mix looks before applying and after applying this processing. You have three modes right here, which are very important. You have a balanced, you have a warm and you have open. Warm is basically when you want to have a bit warmer master in terms of saturation and more analog coloration to it. Open is when you want to have a spacious master, a bit open and wide master, and balanced is something in between. Now we have an equalizer section which features three bands, low, mid and high, which you can adjust individually and a good tip is to use them as your additive equalizer. Of course it's not a mistake if you want to attenuate but this is my personal opinion. We have a vocal section right here, I like to call it vocal section because you can adjust the presence of your vocals by increasing or decreasing this value. You have a deesser which you can set the frequency, let's imagine 8.5 kHz and you can determine the amount of deesser if your vocals or some hi-hats or something like that sounds a bit harsh. You have a stereo fill adjustment, so let's imagine you want a bit wider master, you can slide this slider towards the wide side, or if you want to bring more focus to, let's say, your kick, bass, snare or even vocals, you can go for focus side. Now there are some features in the dynamic section, which is mainly around compression and saturation. We have a compression knob right here, which I can determine how much of a compression I actually want on this mix, I also can choose the character, so this is all up to your critical listening and what you actually like. And you have a saturation, which I really enjoy combining together with my equalizer section. So using slight saturation and increasing it really gives that heavy vibe to your track and it really depends on the genre you're working with. And lastly, you have a loudness and metering section. Loudness is depending on how loud you want your master to be. So for this track I would aim something close to minus 8 LFS, so it will definitely increase this value and of course I can meter what's going on here. Now the final thing you have and a great feature they put in this plugin is this gain match and bypass button. When I press gain match button the loudness will be automatically compensated so that means I won't get tricked by louder is better and I can make more precise and more truthful decisions. So that allows me basically to, to compare the quality of the master before and after and of course bypass when I want to bypass or unbypass this processing. You have an undo, a redo knob, which is again nice if you mess up some steps, and that's basically it. Now once we went through all the features, let me do my personal adjustments and you can follow me through this way of adjusting the track according to my listening and what I think is perfect for this particular track. Now 
private Can't remember who I used to be, I'm just abiding And my father's love is like an ocean, I'm a devil That's right, told the devil take a hike, I'm rising like the gas price More abundantly, the only way I like to have life Bought in Jesus' love, I cannot go back to my last vice But I still give demons smoke, cause it's a fast life Flashlight, when I grip that mic, cause I be shining God rewards me publicly for what I do in private Can't remember who I used to be, I'm just abiding And my father's love is like an ocean, I'm a devil That's right, told the devil take a hike, I'm rising like the gas price More abundantly, the only way I like to have life Now you can see how quick you can basically achieve a very solid master for your final mix now once we're playing everything and I showed you how you can actually quickly master your track using Lander Mustang plugin. Let's discuss about its pricing, is it really worth it and my honest thoughts on this plugin. So Lander features two ways of pricing where you can actually get the Lander Mastery plugin. You have the full subscription to all of their services which is called Studio Pro, $15.99 a month which is again very okay or you have a perpetual license where you can keep it forever which cost $299. Now let's go over to some pros and cons. And what are my actual thoughts? The first pro I would like to mention is the sound. The way I'm able to achieve a great sounding masters is just outstanding. It sounds like I'm using real units. And I use there a lot of units for mastering and I have a lot of analog units myself. This one sounds just amazing. This plugin is also not limited to certain genres, so Lander Mastering plugin can take care of all the genres you like, for example EDM, rock, pop, punk, metal, rap, hip hop, basically anything you're into. This plugin is very easy to use, so you need less than one minute or so, I don't uh, know how much time it took me to master the track, but I believe it's around one minute to get great results, so it's all good basically. You can get a very good master very fast. Now their staff is very responsible and supportive when it comes to customer services. Their team is always available for any questions and in case you have some issues, maybe while installing, while downloading your copy, they'll be more than welcome to help you. And the only con I found, which isn't really a con to me or to some, is its price, because it's possibly expensive for some people. Personally, I don't find this expensive because this plugin offers a lot, like you can't find anywhere else. 10 plus years of research and experience put into one plugin for, for just $299 is definitely a bargain to me. And now the final thing you may be asking yourself are my thoughts. I've been using Lender platform for a very long time and for personal releases and their distribution program so you never had issues with the brand itself. They're highly responsible and they really know what they're doing. In terms of their Lander Mastering plugin, I tested it multiple times on multiple genres and never faced an issue or non-compatibility. Lander Mastering plugin is great for beginners, for advanced or even pro engineers like myself who just want to use it a bit differently like I did on my mix bus, additive equalization and additional compression, possibly limiting or when they want to have a perception of how the final master would sound like. So you know when people do those quick mastering trains in mixing just to get a perception of how that final track will sound. And basically there are countless ways to use Lander Mastering plugin. So those are my honest thoughts. With all that in mind, I want to thank you for joining this video. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Let me know in the comments what you think about Lander Mastering plugin. And I hope to see you in another one.